Queen is going to bed. There's my um, my princess, and I'm the queen of the crew. Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog, or I don't know if I should even be saying that. This might just be a continuation of the trip that I just finished this morning. Yep, you heard right. It is the same day. I just got back from a red eye this morning at 5 a.m. from um, LA. And I don't know what got into me, the holy ghost of the money world, because I am just trying to work, work, work. Um, I rolled over at like 8 a.m. this morning. I had a um, alert from our our scheduling thing and I was like hmm there's a trip to Vegas tonight so I picked it up <laughs> originally I was supposed to work a trip to San Francisco tomorrow but don't really feel like going to San Francisco right now and I just don't really feel like laying in bed and sitting in New York for an extra day you know so we um our work rules are Obviously, we do have to have a certain amount of rest. We have to have 12 hours of rest in base. And every seven days, we have to have at least 24 hours of rest. So, since I got in at 5 a.m. this morning, and my report time isn't until 8.30 p.m., that's my 12 hours of rest right there. So I was able to pick up the trip. So I'm heading to the shuttle stop. As y'all can see, my signature orange earrings are missing. Um, I, the back, like, you know how sometimes on earrings, like the back gets loose or whatever. So I have them in my purse, but I didn't want to lose them. So anyways, see y'all at the airport. All right guys, so I'm on board. Just waiting for the cleaners and catering to finish up. And I am the queen of this trip. I love a trip where I am the only girl and the rest of my crew is guys, three male flight attendants, two male pilots, and me. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, just waiting for them to finish up so we can be on time for boarding. All right. Five hours later, we've made it to Vegas. And this is what I look like, because I'm tired. No fresh landing lips, none of that stuff. I am. Um, I vlog all my trips. I got haters. <laughs> um, so yeah, heading to the hotel. Going to. Uh, you are such a hater. Right, we go to a few other places. More than five. Vegas, LA, Seattle. Boston. We expanded. Okay, we go to seven. Okay. Hey, do The queen is going to bed. There's my um, my princess, and I'm the queen of the crew. <laughs> Anyways, we're at the hotel. It's, it's I don't know what time it is. But I'm going to bed. See y'all in the morning. So I'm gonna give y'all a quick room tour. I can't remember if I've ever given y'all a room tour of Vegas hotel. So I've had, what, three layovers here? So let me show y'all. So you walk in and I love this cause you have your refrigerator and they provide a microwave. Y'all know how important it is. But I didn't even bring a lunch kit today. So sitting area, desk area, double beds this hotel usually gives me one king bed so i'm kind of surprised about the two beds but y'all know i prefer two beds anyway and these beds are always super comfortable um closet and me hey girl you still working it at one in the morning vegas time 4 a.m new york time okay and then you have your walk-in shower here you know just normal shower sink area and then go back down this little hallway your toilet and another little sink area so that's it y'all 
I am tired. Um, when I wake up in the morning, uh, one of my crew members, Frankie, he lives here. He was telling me about um, a helicopter tour that they do at the Grand Canyon that we can pay like a really good discounted price on, basically like non-revving on the helicopter. Um, and they fly you out to the Grand Canyon and then they land and they kind of do like a tour. So I'm considering doing that tomorrow. We'll just see if I, you know, can, if it's reasonably priced and if they have some extra space for me. So see y'all in the morning. Good morning. It is 8.07 a.m. in Las Vegas and I am headed. Where am I going? I'm turned around. Um, heading to the gym this morning so I just called the helicopter tour place and it's basically like listing standby for a flight so I'm gonna go out there and hopefully be able to get on the one that I want to do if not hopefully I can just get on something so the tour that I want to do is $289 but with our discount going up sorry but with our discount it's like $75. They come and pick you up from the hotel. They drive you to the place. You do a helicopter tour. Mm -hmm. Going up. Um, card. Floor 24. Uh-oh. Room key. 24. Going down. No. What? <laughs> I want to go down. I want to go up. Uh, okay sorry y'all so yeah they come and pick you up they do a helicopter tour of the Grand Canyon they land at the bottom of the canyon right by the river and I believe they feed you too for $75 is what my discounted rate is so I'm like hopefully I can do that one if not I'll probably end up just on like a helicopter or plane that doesn't land you just get to do the views which is still pretty good that's like 30 bucks so let me get my workout in and then we'll see what happens i just want to let y'all know never to trust a hotel clock they will have you all confused so it is 1 p.m and look what this clock says 1 59 and i'm supposed to be catching the shuttle over to the helicopter place at 205 so it had me rushing this entire time Ugh. I should have known better. I never use the hotel clocks, but my phone was over there and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, um, I'm going to head out to the helicopter place and hope that I can get on one of these flights. I really, really want to do it. Um, so that's really the only option that I have. I have to go and just wait, just like commuting. So maybe I get lucky. Let's go. So I've made it to Boulder City Airport is what they call it. <laughs> um, I just checked in. He said he'll give me, he'll call me up if there's some space. So we'll see what's going on. But it's really nice out here. Mountains are pretty. People come from everywhere. Turkey, Germany, Germany, US, France, India, Netherlands. Belgium, Spain, France, China. Then they have a gift shop in a little snack area. I might need to get me some food. Oh, this is pretty. A little I like that. So this is the name of the company. Papillon Airways or Papillon something. Oh yeah, if you're a flight crew and you do Vegas layovers pretty often, this is kind of something cool to do instead of hitting the strip like normal. Um, I'll find out if they give discounts to all airlines. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah. So I didn't make the 4 o'clock, but he's saying it might be good for the 5. So I'm just going to wait. Why not? So 
they had one spot just for me. Yay! I always seem to look up that way. Um, so yeah, pilot's gonna call us in a second and we're gonna get on the helicopter and head on over to the Grand Canyon. Let's go! as it looks from here it's still 900 feet down and they do another tour that lands you somewhere else and you can take a boat ride okay this was definitely amazing worth the 75 dollars to be in the middle of the grand canyon so amazing <sighs> okay time to go so i just double checked and um he said that most airlines get the um the standby price which is so much cheaper because the flight that i did the trip that i just did i think it's almost 300 dollars, and i paid 75 for it so that's definitely a win so if you're ever in vegas and you and you're a flight attendant or just whatever i mean if you have the 300 dollars to do it definitely do it it's a cool experience um, but definitely if you're a flight attendant and you lay over here often and you get tired of doing the regular strip thing, come out here. The shuttle comes and picks you up from the nearest hotel that they drop off and pick up at. They drive you out here and they take you back. So I think it's a cool thing. Good morning. There's always a hater on the vlog. There's always one. It is Tuesday morning. It's about 6 something a.m. And we are a little delayed waiting on a flight attendant. My F4 called out. So they had to deadhead us another flight attendant to work our flight. So we're waiting for them to get in. And we'll just be chilling for a little bit. Maybe find me some food. Excuse my lipstick. I was eating my breakfast. But we're still waiting on our F4. So I figured it out. They had to limo her from Long Beach to LAX. And then they put her on a flight, a Southwest flight from LAX here to Las Vegas. So now she can work the flight back with us to JFK. So I really feel sorry for her. She's probably been up since the crack of dawn. Ay, ay, ay. But, so we're a little delayed because of that. So that's kind of what happens. Like we're a smaller airline for a major airline. We only have five bases and we don't, we only have one West Coast base. So when somebody calls out in a city that's not a base for us, these are the type of things that we have to go through to get a full crew. So yeah, we're just waiting. Y'all, Lavelle, the hater, wants to say hi. I'm not hating. He a hater. What do you want? Anyways, guys, this is the end of the two day. I actually picked up another Vegas trip for tomorrow, so I might just do a continuation um, and bring y'all along. I probably won't do much of anything, but I'll be reporting. See the hater of the vlog. I'm not hating. Want to be in the vlog though. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, I have like a 650 report or something tomorrow. So I'm gonna head back to the apartment, relax it out a bit, and then back to work tomorrow. Guys, today is Wednesday, May 2nd, and I am heading back to Vegas. I just got back from Vegas yesterday at 5 p.m. And now it's time to go again. And I got my Jamba Juice. And just in case Serge asks, this is a Kel Caribbean or Kel Ribbian breeze. Anyways, time to work. Talk to y'all later. So I'm the queen of the crew again, the queen of the cabin, whatever you want to call it. Working with three guys again, headed to Vegas again. I love it. Y'all want you want to say hi to our YouTube? YouTube. YouTube. Say hi. Uh, <laughs> That's a bod. About how long have you been here? Going on 15. 15 years, and he's retired from the police department. Another one of the crew members too. He's actually still working, right? For New York. For New York, the police department. So. And if you people looking for some uh, extra jobs, some extra coins, you can balance both of these careers, I'm telling y'all. Anyways, we still have about three hours left in flight to go. And we're just chilling. We're, yeah, chilling. <laughs> Say hi. Hi guys. Back to Vegas. This is Eric. About where's... <laughs> Say hi to my vlog. Hi. I told y'all I'm the queen of the crew again. It's just me and the guys and the pilots. <laughs> it's nap time. I'm exhausted, y'all. Talk nap later. Time. <laughs> hey, I feel refreshed. Thank goodness. I needed that nap. That Vegas flight wore me out, y'all. Just wore me out. This is my floor. Um, people were just, you know, it's always the combination of the small little things that make the flights like extremely difficult so i had three asian ladies on the flight that were sitting next to each other they didn't speak a lick of english which i think is wrong with that but that makes it really difficult trying to communicate they couldn't tell me if they wanted orange juice coffee water so i had to give them everything and they, they were just a tad bit needy um with our new cart service they're not giving us enough water on the plane. So the carts were a little frustrating for me today because this is a East Coast, West Coast flight and people like to drink water. And going through the aisle with the carts, I had to stop and back up the cart like five or six times just during, I only do six rows to go back and get more water. It was, it was a day. And you know, just little itty bitty things, you know. Somebody complaining here about this oh my tv's not working no ma'am you're just hitting the button on the armrest you know just uh, so i think it was just a combination of i've been working a lot of days back to back um it was an early flight i didn't get a lot of rest yesterday um but you know i saved myself i smiled through it all and i got in that hotel van and i was knocked out <laughs> and then i knocked out again for another two hours so now i'm up it is may my family um is doing a 30 miles for the month of May challenge. So I'm about to hit this treadmill. I um, I didn't work out yesterday because I was just exhausted. So let me get to running so I can run on here. And then uh, me and one of my crew members are probably gonna go meet up and get some food. Okay, this has got to be a joke. So did I tell y'all the other day that my Beats headphones broke, my other black ones that I usually wear when I work out the overhead ones? They just stopped turning on, like they won't charge nothing so now i'm using these and all of a sudden this little thing is missing like i just had these on this morning <sighs> see that's just more reason for me to run off this irritation that i got going on today <laughs> that workout got me good y'all lord i was sweating everywhere like drenched but today makes 30 days or 31 days how many ever days today is may 2nd my birthday is june 2nd and we don't have no more time to play so it's what it is anyways vegas looks kind of nice outside the weather's been saying that it's um kind of chilly so i have my jacket with me so me and eric my f1 
he does or he used to do he's been with my airline for quite a while and so when we started flying to Vegas in 2002 he was telling me he started doing an online um, blog a written blog about Vegas and the cheapest spots to go and good places and things like that so he's my Vegas tour expert today Alrighty guys, first stop is the Venetian. We're gonna go find some food. Me and Eric. We're rolling today. Never me. <laughs> <laughs> about the what is this so it's an ice bar it's the room everything inside is made out of ice the walls tables chairs cups you drink out of it's minus five degrees okay it's a full service bar so you can get like drinks chill but it's freezing cold in there uh yeah it's minus five celsius okay Fahrenheit. gotcha so the experience includes a parking and gloves 22 dollars includes two cocktails and custom ice what are the normal prices on that? Well, we were almost about to do it because they had a really good Ooh. deal, two for seventy-five, which is kind of expensive for a bar. But so two for seventy-five, and then that would have come with drinks, the hat, the gloves, a photo, or whatever. But they don't allow any cameras, phones, or anything inside, and I'm like. Well, I was only going to pay for this for the vlog, just for y'all. So, that's a no. So now we're right across the hallway at a place called Canonita. Best margaritas in Vegas. It's a new month. I can drink now. Woohoo! Alright guys, in Vegas, me and Eric are going to play. We're going to play something. I got a $10 tip yesterday. That's all the money they're getting from me. <laughs> so we'll see if we win something. I don't even know what to play. Something easy and cheap for all my slot machine gamblers out there let me know what I should do because next time I come back to Vegas I'm gonna take your advice <laughs> Will of Fortune has spotted my eye let's see what I can do over here I don't know what I'm doing I honestly have no idea what I'm doing y'all so I insert the card I literally only have ten dollars cash. I never carry cash. Oh, extra. Wait, your girl might be a little, a little more coined up than she thought. <laughs> what is this one? I have twenty dollars. I'm not gambling twenty whole dollars. Ten. That's all they get. It's an experience. Let's go. We're so glad you stopped by. Let's have some fun. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Okay, ten dollars. Now what? Play seven or more credits to activate. Play. Oh, that means I lost. Okay, so I lost. Game over. Can I do this thing? What if I want to play with this thing? Okay. Play another credit line. Okay. Game over. I don't think I'm doing very well. <laughs> so tell me. You all that like to gamble, what do you get from this? Because I'm not getting nothing from this. No type of excitement. Nothing. Not a thing. Nothing. Well, oh, I'm out of credit. <laughs> they ain't getting no more of my coin. Yeah, that. No for me. Gambling is a no for me. <laughs> Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah. Want, I didn't get anything. <sighs> Boom. On All the right. wheel? You can even do a gondola ride at the Venetian. I saw them coming by when we were in there eating dinner, and they even had some people that sing and, and boat. All right, let's take a look.
It looks nice and comfortable inside though. I got leather seating. <laughs> oh, don't tip over. Understanding my 30 for 30 struggle. Now I gotta get something red velvet, y'all. <laughs> you know what? Being healthy is very important to me, and losing weight, obviously, is very important. But I wanna enjoy a little snack. And I've been really good today. I had a salad for lunch. That's how good I've been. So I'm getting some cake. Good morning. Y'all know how you know something? Like, I knew the shuttle was at 520, but I kept thinking it was 528 because the other morning it was 528. The same show, the same flight, the shuttle was 528, and today it was 520, and huh, now I'm like a minute late <laughs> because I was like, oh, shit. It's 520, guys. It doesn't look like I'm the queen of the crew anymore. We have a female first officer, <laughs> which is great. I always love seeing female pilots, but I was really feeling myself being the only woman on these crews. So, I guess I'll be the princess. No, no, no. I still want to be the queen. She can be the queen of the flight deck. I'll be the queen of the cabin. That's how we're going to do this. <laughs> Anyways, waiting for catering. Take a morning, Eric. Morning. Morning. <laughs> He's giving the pilots their um, trash bags and some water bottles. Because, you know, they, they stay in there for these five-hour flights. We let them out like twice. So that's it. So, they need lots of water and throw away over snacks and stuff. Anyways, um, look, this is catering. They bring on all the stuff onto the plane. And then once they're done, I'll check and make sure that they provided us, provisioned us with everything that we need. And then we can start boarding. So, talk to y'all later. Heading back to New York. It's the last leg, just a two day trip. I'm loving these two day trips. All right, y'all, trip is officially over. It was a good crew, it was a nice two day, kept it real simple, just the way I like it. Now it is 2.50 p.m. I'm waiting for the shuttle to get me back to my apartment. And yeah, that's it. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed these Vegas layovers. Until next time.